Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do you have to report a 1098T on your taxes? The 1098T form is issued by eligible educational institutions. It reports amounts paid for qualified tuition and related expenses. The form also shows amounts billed for the same expenses. The IRS uses the 1098T to verify education credits claimed by taxpayers. Education credits include the American Opportunity Credit and the Lifetime Learning Credit. And the American Opportunity. Credit is available for the first four years of higher education. The Lifetime Learning Credit can be used for tuition and fees for undergraduate, graduate, and professional degree courses. The 1098T form includes information such as the student's name, address, and taxpayer identification number. It also includes the institution's name, address, and taxpayer identification number. Unend Box 1 of the 1098T form reports payments received for qualified tuition and related expenses. Box 2, if used, reports amounts billed for qualified tuition and related expenses. The IRS requires educational institutions to report payments received in Box 1. Some institutions may also report amounts billed in Box 2. The 1098T form may also include adjustments to prior year expenses. These adjustments are reported in Box 4. Donen scholarships and grants received by the student are reported in Box 5. Adjustments to scholarships or grants for a prior year are reported in Box 6. If the educational institution refunds amounts paid for qualified expenses, these refunds are reported in Box 7. IN Box 8 indicates whether the student was at least a half-time student during the year. Box 9 indicates whether the student was a graduate student. And the IRS does not require you to attach the 1098T form to your tax return. However, you should keep it for your records. Again, to determine if you are eligible for education credits, you must complete Form 8863. This form is used to claim education credits on your tax return. And in, you should report the amounts from the 1098T form on Form 8863. This form calculates the education credits you may be eligible to claim. Yin. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.